You are watching Daily Pie Central News and I'm Emma. With me today is John Foscoe, the man who types out Agatha Parrot stories. Woohoo! Where did you get your stories for Agatha Parrot? Well, Agatha comes and tells me. I mean, she told me about the floating head, then she told me about the time when she turned her brother into a mushroom, and then she told me about the horrible country at school. Then the, the, oh, there was the one about the emails that came to her brother with kisses on the end from a mystery girl. That was the heart of mud. And then, oh, there's a new one, Agatha Parrot and the 13th Chicken, where a chicken goes missing and they all think something horrible's happened to it. But I won't give it away, but no, I'll come from Agatha. Hmm? Describe Agatha Parrot in one word. Irritating. Okay. <laughs> when did you first meet Agatha Parrot? Right, it was an afternoon and I was sitting at home doing nothing, minding my own business, and there was a knock on the door and this girl with mad hair was standing at the door, she lives down our street, and she had a parcel, and she said, the postman tried to leave it with you earlier, but you weren't in, so it's at our house, here's your parcel. So I took it, and then she said, what's in it? So I opened it, and it was a load of books, because I write math books, you see. And she said, well, why do you write math books? Why do you write story books? And I said, well, I don't know any good stories. Then she told me about her friend Martha when her head exploded at school. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, why do you mean head exploded? She said, it's all right. She said, don't panic. A teacher was chopping a head off with an axe at the time. And I'm starting to get freaked here, but apparently all has a happy ending. And so I typed out what she said to me, and that was the first book, Agatha Parrot and the Floating Head. The head floats as well. It's a, it's a strange head. What, do you like most about Odd Street School? Odd Street School. It's at the bottom of our street. I've been in there a couple of times. I think what I like most is I like going into like the little kids' class. You know, like little tiny reception class. Do you remember when you were a little kid first starting school and you went in and you didn't get normal lessons? You got lessons like sandpit. Do you remember that? You got to play with sand and play with the water. Do you remember that? Yeah. And paintbrushes were like about a mile long. And, uh, <laughs> paintbrush. Do you remember that? Do you remember the paintings? I'm going to show you. Look. This is what I like about this school. You go down the little kids' class, and this is a little kid's picture, right? You tell me. <laughs> let me draw this. You tell me. What's that? <laughs> the sun. The sun. Since when was the sun black with great big spikes sticking What's out of it? The little kids don't think it's finished. Look. <laughs> now it's finished. <laughs> there you are. So what do I like about... I like the little kids' class because I think it's funny and I love them. They're brilliant. Mm. There you are. What is your favourite thing to do when you're not writing? Oh, well, um, I like toys, any sort of toys. I've got musical things, I've got old synthesizers, I've got pinball tables, I've got two great big giant pinball tables. I like tricks. Do you like tricks? Mm -hmm. Right, this might not work, it might do. I've got this one here, let me just see if it's going to work. Right, let me have a little look here. I've got three cards here, let's have a look. Okay. Okay, you recognise cards, okay, so nine. Now watch very, very carefully nine what I'm going to do. Nine, okay. So I'll put that one there like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Put that one there like that. So you see the lady in the middle, she's about to disappear. Now you've got to remember what's in the middle. Are you remembering? Mm -hmm. So I'll turn them over. What was in the middle? The queen. Okay, let's have a little check. Yes, there she is. Oh! <laughs> okay, clapping at home. <laughs> <laughs> what's your funniest memory? Oh, how old are you? Uh, nine. Uh, you see, I've got, I've got four girls of my own, and one time we were going to the seaside with all these mm. little girls in the push chairs, and I sat on a wet rock, and my trousers were so wet, <laughs> and I was getting really grumpy, miserable dad, you know, like that. <laughs> nobody's going to go anywhere tomorrow, happy, I was doing all that stuff, and you know, I was so wet, I borrowed a nappy from the push chair, and I put it down the back of my trousers <laughs> to keep my bottom wet, do you know, it works, it's brilliant, and I forgot I had this nappy, and that night, we went home, and I had to go to the supermarket, and I'm shopping, as soon as I went in, everybody came to help me. They, oh, young cornflakes, certainly. Oh, you're washing powder, there you go. And they hurried me out and they got me to the car park. And I said to my wife when I got home, I said, the service in that supermarket's brilliant. And she said, do you know why? I said, no. I said, have you seen the back of your trousers? There's a great big wet patch and a nappy sticking out. Looked like I had a really bad... <laughs> so there you go. That's probably my funniest memory. How's that? <laughs> Thank you, Darton. That's it from Daily Press Central News. Bye!